Hello everyone. Welcome to Achievers IAS classes. Let's begin our discussion on the current events of 6th January 2018, starting with the first national issue of the day, which is regarding adultery. The issue is in news because the Supreme Court has recently decided to refer the matter to the Constitution bench to look into if whether the pre-independence provision of adultery in the Indian Penal Code violates the constitutional concepts of gender equality. We have already seen that Section 497 of the IPC always treats the women in the extramarital affair as the victim and the incidence of adultery is based on the consent of the husband, thereby treating women as a commodity of her husband. For further details on the issue, please go back and watch the monthly current affairs roundup of the month of December. Now let's move on to the next issue in news, which is regarding the government policy on Hajj pilgrimage. As we all know, the central government subsidizes Muslim travel to the holy shrine in Mecca. The issue was in news because there were allegations made by the state of Kerala that the Hajj subsidy offered by the central government to the states based on the Muslim population is unfair to the smaller states. However, the center has defended its policy saying it has based on objective criteria of Muslim population of each state. The court in this regard has observed this to be a policy decision but will look into it further when the final judgment is out in public domain. With that let's move on to the next issue in news which is regarding the induction of women into the territorial army. The issue is in news because the Delhi High Court has observed that any discrimination against women in recruitment to the territorial army is against the fundamental rights provided under the constitution. The territorial army is an organization of volunteers who receive military training who will be mobilized in the country's defense in times of emergency. They are considered as the second line of defense and help in the maintenance of essential services. But at present, only males were eligible to be recruited under the territorial army which reflected the institutionalized discrimination. The recent ruling of the Delhi High Court has set aside this discrimination and is a positive step towards greater realization of gender equality and women empowerment. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news, which is about the government intentions to boost the tourism sector. According to the news article, the union government is planning to cut taxes on travel and tourism <clears throat> and give more incentives to the sector with the hope to boost economic growth as well as create more jobs. The move is aimed at boosting domestic tourism given that India is the second most populous nation with rising incomes and changing lifestyles of the middle class Indians. Adding to this, government civil aviation policy and the addition of new routes for air travel previously done will also give new impetus to the sector which to an extent will address the jobless growth in the country. The next issue in news is talking about the GDP slowing down to a four year low of 6.5% in the year 2017-18 mainly due to deceleration in agriculture and manufacturing sectors. We will look into this issue in detail once the budget is out to get a holistic picture on where the government stands. Till then let's move on to the next issue in news which is about the report laid down in the parliament on the diplomatic relations between India and Pakistan. The report details that the NSAs of both the countries have been engaging regularly since the channel of communications were established during the Paris talks and there is regular engagement between the two especially on issues like the spike in ceasefire violations, the Patan court attack, the case of Mr. Kulbush and Jadav etc. It further highlights the various challenges to better the ties between the two countries including cross-border infiltration, support to terrorist groups in Pakistan, etc. The report finally highlights the government's success in ensuring that these terror groups have been condemned in statements made by important international groupings like the BRICS, EU and countries like US, Japan in the joint statements with India. As analysts have already pointed out, quiet diplomacy is always the way between two troubled neighbors like India and Pakistan and the recent disclosure in the report 
on the engagement between the two NSAs is reassuring in this regard. The next issue in news is the trade restrictions imposed by China on North Korea, which is aimed at effective implementation of the UN nuclear sanctions. As I have already discussed in my previous videos, the rising tensions in the Korean Peninsula is further fueled by the involvement of countries like the United States of America, China, etc. With China supporting the North Korean regime and the US supporting South Korea. In this regard, the world community, as we have already seen, has condemned North Korea's nuclear program and its irresponsible actions and has imposed sanctions on the North Korean government. But as I have already pointed out, for any sanctions on North Korea to be effective, China has to be on board. And in this regard, China recently has decided to limit exports of crude oil and refined petroleum to North Korea and ban sales of steel, industrial machinery and vehicles to the country. This is significant because China accounts for nearly all of North Korea's energy supplies and trade. But Chinese leaders have also warned against taking drastic measures against North Korea, which might destabilize the government, which might ultimately trigger a refugee crisis in the region. The next issue in news is the bomb cyclone which has hit eastern part of the United States of America, which has resulted in heavy snow and freezing cold temperatures. The bomb cyclone, which is associated with a phenomenon called bombogenesis, is associated with sharp drop in atmospheric pressure and intensified winds which are similar to the hurricanes. It is important to note that even cyclones are associated with drop in atmospheric pressure. But the difference between the cyclone and a bomb cyclone is the magnitude of this atmospheric pressure drop. With that, I am wrapping up today's news analysis. Please do like, share and comment if you support this initiative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.